So we've got a 2013 Subaru Legacy here in the shop. We're getting ready to do an oil change on it. It has a 2.5. Uh, it should take about 5.1 quarts of oil. So we're going to throw five in it, see how it is. And it's 0W20. Uh, let's get rolling. All right, so we're going to crack our oil cap loose just for now, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pull it off yet because I'm going to go ahead and do the oil filter first. It's right here. A little tiny. That's a nice easy one. Yeah. You said easy as we started the job. <laughs> yeah, I just jinxed our ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, we're done. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. And it fills up this little reservoir. Yeah. I'm not cool. Really sure, I'm sure what we're going to do with that, but <laughs> I guess we'll be dealing with that. Our oil. Um, ring stayed with it so it, yeah um so i don't know for now i'm gonna leave it off and we're gonna drain the oil and um, we're gonna have to clean that up so so we've got our suction gun i'm gonna suck the oil down out of it kind of look like a lot of oil but it's not a lot of oil so we're gonna take a rag and wipe it down This is some very old oil. Way overdue in the oil change. Looks like there's a little drain hole right here, yeah. but it might have been clogged up. That's why there might have been so much well, oil all up this there. All this schmeg in here. Oh, it's my daughter's boyfriend's <laughs> car. You don't need to change your oil, Steve. You just keep going. That's right. You pop the motor, you buy a new one. <laughs> I don't want to change one of these motors. <laughs> Me either. Okay, yeah, I'm going to set this gap right there for now. Let's get the rest of this cleaned out. Right. Yeah, it looks like uh, there's a little pinhole here. Yeah. yeah. Picture that uh, drains that that oil out of there for you. That'll take a good guess at it. Wasn't draining our oil. Oh. Okay. Wipe this down. Okay. So. We're gonna get our new oil filter. Screw it on. Yeah, tell him, tell him, Tony. Using dirty oil, it's gonna ruin the whole motor. Oh my god! Yeah, I can't even believe it. Okay. <laughs> so we got some oil on it. <laughs> we're just checking to make sure the oil ring was the same size. Yeah, <laughs> that's all we were doing. So you want to put a little light skim coat of oil on the oil filter seal, and uh, snag that up by hand. There you go. All right, we're gonna leave our cap off now. We're gonna put it up in the air. We got a 14 millimeter on a half inch dry ratchet. These things sometimes are kind of tight. All right, that one crack looks good. Okay. Main goal is what, Tony? <coughs> Not to spill the oil. <laughs> Not to make a mess. <laughs> yeah, that's freaking, that oil looks great. It's like a chocolate mess. He's way overdue on this oil change. Tony said he looked it up and it was like 5.1 quarts. Yep. So. Got a five quart jug, should be good. Yeah. All right, we're gonna let this drain down and we'll be back in a second. So we inspected that plug. It's clean, we got our little, looks like an aluminum O-ring on there. That's in good condition, there's no splits or anything. So wipe down the face of our pan here. We're gonna get our plug in. And we're gonna snug that up, so 14 millimeter again. Wipe this all down. I didn't. I worked on another Subaru a few weeks ago, and it was starting to get rusty around here. And if that was yours, I would scuff this up a little bit, and I would get some bed liner, something that you can spray on to slow that down. Because this oil pan is buried in exhaust, and you probably don't want to have to deal with it. So um, that's what I would suggest. This one's in good condition. We're lucky. We're gonna snug the plug up, make sure it's tight. Okay, that's good. Here we got our Syntec SuperTech. Why are we buying SuperTech? Because it's reasonably priced. 
Hey, you know what? I watched a bunch of YouTuber video videos on this oil, and it's made by one of the bigger companies, which a lot of stuff's out way right now, and it doesn't seem like it's that bad. I'm running it. No, a couple yeah. of... We've had good luck with it. We're running on multiple customers' cars. We haven't yeah. had any issues. So, yeah. right. so we got our funnel in there, and we're going to slowly fill. Make sure it doesn't kick back up. And we're taking the whole five quarts on it. Well, it's going to take it. <laughs> and it's going to like it. <laughs> uh, we already got that filter on, hand yep. tight. We clean that little snotty hole out. We wipe down the inside housing. This is a pretty easy car to do an oil change on. The oil filter is right there, which is nice. Yeah. It's right in yeah. your face. And it had that 14 millimeter underneath. Yeah. Okay, so we get that full. Got our oil cap. I'm just going to screw that back down nice and gently. Okay, get that locked tight. Okay. So like any other oil change, guys, you, you may do one or two on your car a year. I only do one for it. Steve doesn't drive anywhere. I do like <laughs> five a year on my expedition. So you want to check all your fluid levels at this point, your belt condition, you know, your battery condition, make sure your terminals are clean. You know, you want to give this thing a good look over to make sure it's safe until your next oil change. So we check the tire pressures. You got a squeaky door, luby door, check your wipers, check your lights. You know, all that stuff that we're just talking, it's going to take you an extra five, seven minutes, and you know you're good until your next oil change. Let's um, check the oil level, too, while we're at it. Yeah, yeah let's check that right now. Oh. That's the most important thing. Yeah. <laughs> so we haven't ran it yet. So before we run it, Okay, we're right here, and it is up to my thumb, which is... Should be right on. Yeah, that's the spec, the two dots. Yeah. It's right there, but when we run it, it's going to drop down a whisker. Probably so a whisker, probably not too much. Go ahead and start it up, Tony, and then we'll double check it again for you. Okay, so we checked our belts, and we checked the hoses, and everything's looking pretty good on this thing. And we checked the rest of our fluid levels, and everything's looking good. The brake fluid's up to par. Our hoses are nice, um, you know, for 120000 It's it's looking pretty good, so... Um, there's no noise coming out of the engine or anything. We're going to pull the stick on it after we ran it. We'll see where our oil level. So we've got our two dots right here. Here and here is where the, the max top is right here, the two dots. So let's see where our level is now after we ran it. And we're right in the middle. Okay. And that's good. Yeah. The 0.1% of one quarter is not going to make a difference. Nah. So we're good with the five. And... Um, Okay, so we're going to do our light check and check the rest of the stuff like we were telling you guys. And um, that should wrap it up.